Hi, this is Kate from Daily Tarot Girl and welcome to your weekly tarot card reading. So I'm going to be using the Modern Witch Tarot by Lisa Stirl for this week's reading. And I love the card backs, they look really pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna give my cards a shuffle. And my intention with this reading this week is just to kind of get an overview of the week ahead and discover what kinds of energies and themes and opportunities will be coming up for us this week. So I'm going to draw three cards. The first card is going to represent Monday and Tuesday of the upcoming week. And the card we got here is, ooh, Knight of Swords. Eee! Cool, okay. So I will put an image of this on the screen. Uh, okay, so Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is very, very intense. And what I feel this card is telling us is this is the time to really get focused. This is the time to harness your energy and your attention, particularly your mental energy. This is about getting your head in the game and really focusing your mind, tuning out all the millions of things that threaten to distract you and pull you out of yourself and demand your attention, kind of cutting through all that, tuning that stuff out, and just being able to focus on what is most important right now. And it will help you this week, I think, to focus on one thing at a time. So trying to avoid multitasking when you can. Uh, and it's okay to focus on multiple things in a day, but try to set aside, you know, an hour, say, for each task and just focusing on one thing at, at a time. That's really going to help us this week. And I think getting very... Uh, clear and organized and direct about what's important this week, what needs to get done, what we're gonna focus on, and how we're gonna do it. That's what I get with the Knight of Swords. Okay, um, let's look at the card for the middle of the week. So Wednesday, Thursday-ish, we have Nine of Wands. Okay, so Nine of Wands this is interesting because we have this like charging forward motion with the Knight of Swords and then with Knight of Wands, there's no movement. There's like a pause, a stopping. And the Knight of, Knight of Wands will often come up when, I feel like the Knight of Wands in this case kind of symbolizes some sort of block. So it's like, we're going full steam ahead, we're moving along and then boom, something comes up for us. It's some sort of block. It could be in the form of a fear, like you're afraid of something happening, particularly being afraid of the past repeating itself. So some sort of issue or event or thing from the past that has affected you and you're afraid that that thing might happen again. Um, also, this card asks us to do two things this week. To focus on setting boundaries and to focus on healing. And what I get from this card is that there is a very intimate connection between setting boundaries and healing. So healing and having boundaries. It's almost like healing cannot take place if there isn't appropriate boundaries that contain your energy. And this might not even necessarily be, like there's different ways we can think of boundaries. There's the kind of boundaries we have with other people in relationships or work-life boundaries, but then there's boundaries that we set for ourselves. Like, um, oh, let me think of a, an example of a boundary that I, that I set for myself. Um, well, if we, if we go back to looking at the night of, uh, swords, um, maybe a boundary you set for yourself is like, I'm just going to focus on this task for an hour and I'm not going to do anything else. Like that would be an example of a boundary you set for yourself, or I'm going to set my alarm for this time and I'm going to get up at this time. I'm not going to lay in bed or whatever. <laughs> so nine of wands is saying to really embrace boundary setting this week 
and to get comfortable with it. Now boundaries, I want you to really look at this card. There is a bunch of wands in the background and they're sort of forming a fence. And I want you to think of boundaries as being kind of like this. A boundary is not a brick wall that keeps everyone out. It's like a fence that you can peek over. <laughs> Maybe it's a fence with big slats. You can go between the slats. Your boundaries can be flexible. They don't have to be rigid. Um, and you want to feel good about the boundaries you set. You don't want to feel anxiety about them, even though that, that can happen. <laughs> and so the Nine of Wands is saying, you know, this is a week to get comfortable setting certain boundaries and only you know what those boundaries are going to be this week. And to allow yourself that time and space to heal from whatever is getting in the way. And it could be a physical injury that you need to heal from. It could be more of a mental thing, like a fear, a phobia, some sort of psychological block that you're working on. So there's different ways that you can heal. Okay, let's look at card number three. So card number three is for the end of the week. So kind of Friday, Saturday, Sunday-ish. Now let's have a look and see what card comes up. Ooh, seven of swords. Okay. So the seven of swords, uh, I feel like this card came up the last time I read with this deck. All right. The woman in this card is very dressed up. She's got heels on. Uh, <laughs> I'm just looking at the, the fashion choices of all the characters on these cards. Knight of Swords has like a jacket that kind of looks like camo in some ways. Um, but a, for all purposes, a practical outfit. Uh, the figure in the Nine of Wands is wearing workout wear. It looks like, I didn't notice that the first time. It, it looks like she's just run a marathon. And well, actually, now that I look at it, Knight of Swords, it's like this, the Knight of Swords is charging forward. There's a lot of energy. By the time we get to midweek, we might feel a little bit burnt out. Like we need to recharge our batteries. And then Seven of Swords, she's dressed, dressed up like she's going to a fancy dinner party or something. She's got heels on. Um, looks like she's wearing lipstick and she's kind of all, all dressed up, all dressy. I feel like with the Seven of Swords, often when the Seven of Swords comes up, it's saying, you know what, it's okay to be yourself and to be authentic even though you think it isn't. So with the Seven of Swords, we see someone who is kind of tiptoeing around um, and maybe wanting others to see her a certain way. So the question I have with this card is, how is it that you want others to see you? And it might be that you don't want others to see you, or I should say, how do you want others to see you and how do you not want them to see you? Because it might be that one of your biggest fears is that other people see you as being a bother or being a pain in the butt. And so you want to kind of tiptoe around and not rock the boat too much, not upset the scene too much because you don't want to stand out. You don't want to upset anyone. You don't want to be that person who's always uh, rocking the boat. Uh, or you might not relate to that at all, but the Seven of Swords says that you are maybe a little bit too preoccupied with what others think of you or having people see you a certain way or not being seen a certain way as well. And it's really inviting you to take a look at that and maybe let go of that a little bit and, and ask yourself, how can I live more authentically? How can I be more myself uh, this weekend? How can I not get so hyper-focused on presenting myself a certain way or creating a mask? To protect myself. And that's the thing with the Seven of Swords is that this often comes from a place of wanting to protect the self. And I feel like this is how it's kind of tied into the Nine of Wands. And I feel like the theme that is emerging with these three cards is that we will feel this 
almost a rush of motivation with the Knight of Swords. Like you get clear on what you want to do and what's important to you and you're very motivated, but then uh, stuff comes up. <laughs> so then you're like, but I want to stay, I want to feel safe. I, I want to stay within my comfort zone. Um, I need to protect myself because there is something fearless about the Knight of Swords. And it's almost like we start the week off on this fearless note, which is very energizing for us. But then by midweek, we start to feel a little exhausted. And then by the end of the week, we're starting to feel like we really want to protect our energy. And, um, so yeah, so that's that's something to be aware of this week. That's something to kind of watch out for. Um, so I'm just going to look at these three cards and see. It's interesting where these characters are looking to. Knight of Swords is like looking forward. Uh, Nine of Wands is looking in the same direction. But instead of like looking forward in this determined way, she's kind of like, ugh, like a little bit hesitant. And then Seven of Swords is looking over her shoulder at the, in the other direction. So I'm not sure exactly <laughs> what, to, what to make of that, um, uh, but it feels like protecting your energy is important this week. Um, and I know I'm sort of going on, I'm kind of rambling here, but I feel like and when I say protecting your energy, uh, what I mean by that is try not to burn out. Try not to be too intense with how you spend your time this week. Um, so making sure you create a bit of balance, that you rest, that you don't put too much pressure on yourself because it's putting too much pressure on yourself and trying to do too much this week that will make you burn out. So just going easy with that. And... If you notice yourself, you know, wanting to convince others that you're not a bother or trying to get people to see you a certain way, know that that also comes from a place of perhaps fear and anxiety and needing to protect the self. And you might just want to look at that this week. I think that the more you see it and the more aware of it you are, the more you can sort of start to set yourself free from that and free up your energy. So I'd love to hear what you think. If you have a take on these cards or if you want to share something that you noticed about these cards, please feel free to do so in the comments below. And I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this reading helpful. I hope you got something out of it and enjoyed it. And please give me a like and a subscribe. I post these videos every week, usually on a Friday, sometimes on a Saturday. Um, yeah, so check out my website, dailytarotgirl.com. I'll put the link below this video. I've got tons of fun tarot learning resources on there for you to check out. Uh, yeah, so thanks for watching and I hope you have a wonderful week.